Baba Booey. Hi, welcome back everybody. Don't mind the fact that I'm not showing my head right now because I totally did not forget where my sunglasses is and uh, my mask, but uh, we're rolling. Welcome back. I'm totally not running out of content ideas. So a lot of people have been asking me, or a lot of you guys, specifically a lot of you guys have been asking me what, what kind of gear that i use and honestly i thought that maybe i should make a video in it because if someone asks me again you know i could just like send them this video you know i could just send them this link right now and like i get views and money and they get the information they need uh, good brain. so in this video we will be talking about what i use for youtube for studying for playing games and whatnot also, yes, not a flex. I'm not flexing any of these. Everything in this video, everything in this video is paid by my earnings. My own money, okay? All of the stuff. Okay, maybe not all of them, but most of it. So I'm, so I'm just saying, you know, whatever. Just, just roll with the intro. All right, so before we start this video, I just want to split this video into uh, three parts like a great YouTuber that I am. So the first section will be about me studying, you know, because that's what my channel is and that's what it's about if you didn't know that. Um, the next section will be about my YouTube, you know, how I make my YouTube channel um, because if you didn't notice as well, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I make videos, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I make videos on the internet. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you should definitely not subscribe like please just don't subscribe at all i'm not even doing like the reverse psychology thing like just please don't subscribe if you're gonna subscribe watch my videos i don't want those people who does no effort and does not watch my videos even though they subscribe okay so if you're gonna subscribe you better stick with me better stick with me okay got it and finally the third section on the list is the recreational section because who doesn't like to take a break i fucking need a break <laughs> but that's for another time anyway let's start the video so let's start with the ipad air shall we now yes note taking is very very controversial i know i wasn't really an advocate for it but i do have to say after trying it as a learning tool i found note taking to be pretty useful but i still believe that rereading your notes for remembering stuff is not the best method i still prefer active recall so let's start with the studying part of this video so this is the uh, ipad air like I think it's gen 5 i bought this like a few days ago with i mean a few years ago god damn it i mean a few months ago <laughs> as a person who does not use like an ipad or like i wasn't really a fan of apple this tell me this does not look clean like i this just looks really nice <laughs> like i have to give it to apple for like making a very nice looking device like this looks really clean like the bezels are there but it's like i think it's important because it's a tablet but like uh okay i'm i'm going really off topic here <laughs> i was scared of buying this because i i thought that you know i thought that taking notes you know buying an ipad air buying an ipad pro i thought that was like a fad you know like i thought every oh i should buy it because everyone's buying but uh after like buying it because my mom told that it'll be very useful for me to draw diagrams with this <laughs> i look like I look like a sales marketer right now. Can you please buy this iPad right now? And it'll be like 50% off. This look at the screen right here. But uh, after buying it, like this is so god i keep opening apps <laughs> this is so so useful like as someone who loves to consume media this is so nice to watch on like youtube on this app is like so good because like the screen is big i can like watch all i want you know i can like consume media but like yeah after using this for a while like i started using good notes so i actually bought good notes after like taking some a bit of note i i found it to be super useful i'm able to annotate pdfs which could provide usefulness whenever i like go to like information or like when i need to convert to flashcards or stuff or i can like draw mind maps and all that it's also great since i can like freely draw like diagrams which is pretty cool and honestly it's so much better <laughs> compared to like physical notes because every time i would like make a mistake or if i want to like change a color or if the page wouldn't look so pretty i could just easily modify the text or the like the size or whatever and like yeah i could have done that easily 
I'm not saying that everyone should buy an iPad. I think that it's not really essential to everyone. But, you know, for those people who really want to take digital notes, I really recommend buying an iPad if it's really that's your thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is pretty good. You can see how thin that is. That's my finger. And this is like thinner than my finger. And it's surprisingly durable, which is like something that is, I mean, I, that's app, their Apple, I guess, but pretty cool. I, I don't regret buying this. Although I have to say an iPad Air is generally more expensive. I think you're perfectly fine with a normal iPad, but yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. By the way guys, uh, if you hear like construction, cause I don't know, I can't hear what's happening, but if you hear like construction outside, there's like a busy, street down there actually let, let me show you you could see there's like a construction there and there's so many cars and they're like making so much noise like i think the main problem with living in an apartment like this is that is there's just so loud but yeah back to the video where were we all right um and the other advice that i use for studying is my dear dear laptop this is like my brain like this is like the main hub for everything you know i put all of my pdfs here my files my notes my flashcards here i don't know why i did this gang sign but whatever i would say that if i were to choose the ipad or this i would rather pick this if i were have to choose one for studying this has a lot of essential applications like a lot of essential applications for example my laptop has notion which is like my sort of central sort of brain for like all types of things and i'm planning to use it for like a central hub for my university as you know i, I can track my assignments there as well as you know my notes for each lecture all good stuff everything in one place on the other hand the other app that i use which is anki which is my main flashcard app this is a flashcard app generally used by medical students since it's so effective in active recall and spaced repetition you know i'll generally use that with this app it'll help you remember and memorize a lot of facts Honestly, if you don't have a computer right now and you're heading to university, you're really going to need one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, study section. Uh, I would, if my laptop was a girl, I would marry it instantly. But uh, yeah, uh, oh wait, sorry, off topic, moving on. I just realized that I haven't put on my rings for this video. Wait, let me just do that real quick. God, I forgot to put on my iconic rings. God damn it. There we go. All right, so the next part of this video is going to be YouTube and to start the YouTube section, let's start with my first camera. All right, so this is my first camera. This is the first camera that I used for this YouTube channel. All right, let's start with the camera because I feel like a lot of people have been asking what my camera is, you know, what my lens is, am I single? You know, normal questions like that. So this is the first camera that I've actually used. So my first actual camera is the Nikon D3400. This is like a super, super entry level camera. It does have the basic features down as a DSLR, but it does not have much features and <laughs> focusing's really crap. But it's super, super lightweight. It's surprisingly lighter than my newer camera, which means it's much easier to use overall. It's a very good beginner camera, I guess. I, I don't know if I should recommend it or not because I don't know any other cameras that are better in this price range, but yeah. Okay, I have to be honest here. <laughs> I did not buy this. This is a family camera. God, focus. This is a family camera. That time we bought this, I was completely broke. I had no money, so I couldn't even afford my own camera. But I mean, hey family stick together everything's shared so actually this lens right here like this lens is i bought myself using my savings um this is like my first like ever investment to like youtube or whatever let me just take this off real quick this is a 50 millimeter 1.8 g lens this is a nikkor lens i don't know how to pronounce that but i i might get cancelled if i say it the other way um this lens i feel like is the sole reason why my channel looks the way it is. People always tell me like, wow, your, your footage looks really beautiful. And it's because of this. Um, this lens like really like, it really made the game a lot different. But yeah, it, it, allowed to, it allowed my footage to have like this super shallow effect and like made it super, super aesthetic. But uh, yeah, but baby no more, I cannot throw this actually. Like, <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that I threw that camera. 
Baby No More because I have this camera right now. What I'm using right now, I only have one SD card, so I cannot, like, I cannot shoot this camera. So I will have to use old footage. But uh, fuck, I think I deleted my old footage. You know what? I'm going to use a different camera for this. Be right back. So I'm on my my other camera, my Osmo camera. This is the Canon EOS RP. The reason why I bought this was. Oh, first of all, it was this was full frame, meaning that I'm able to take advantage of the lens fully. The second reason why I bought this is because of this, the flip function. This is very important to me. I don't have an external monitor so that I cannot really see what I'm shooting. So I kind of needed like a flip camera that can like sort of kind of show me what I'm like looking at. And yeah, I forgot that I had this, but this is my Osmo camera. This is what I use to like vlog. And this has like a, this, this comes with this mic. So I'm actually recording right now, but I'm just using this for the sound for this video. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This has like a tripod and everything. It's super light. It's like a gimbal sort of camera. So I mainly use this when I go outside. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Osmo. God damn it. I forgot to write in the script, but whatever. Oh, Mr. Fork. No, Mr. Fork. Where are you? No, I killed him. No worry, he's all right, guys. He's indestructible. Mr. Fork, don't die, please. There we go. You may be asking me. Cool, you have cameras, but like, how do you mount them? Like, how do you put them in in X, Y, Z? And uh, let me show you. Let me just take you off again. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is very intrusive, but this. This is the tripod that I've been using. I've been using this for almost two years now. I recommend if you're going to start a long-term channel, I recommend you to invest in a good tripod. Don't buy cheap ones, they might break or fall over, which would like break your camera, which would be like very costly. So this is the uh, KNF, God, what is this? So this is the KNF concept. This is the, uh, what the fuck is this name? KFTM25345, bleh. Sounds like, I swear, it's like Elon Musk's baby, I swear. This is a very good tripod because it's all metal. The legs are easy to like to tighten. All you have to do is turn this knob. If ever this tripod becomes like loose, you can just screw the hex nut right there again. So it'll become tight again. That's what she said. Uh, this is not sponsored by the way, but like I really recommend buying a good tripod. You can even extend this arm right here. There's like a hidden compartment. And the cool thing about this little tripod is I've never really used this feature, but you can set your camera. God, if I can do this with one hand. You can make your tripod to that. And then you can like make some sort of overhead shot with this, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's my tripod. I am very interesting as a person. This is a Lenovo Legion 5 with an i5 10th generation with an RTX 2060. It's quite a weird match for the specifications, but hey, anything better than my old ass lappy. And I'm just saying, but like, I totally bought this laptop for the editing. Totally not so that I can play games I've been wanting to play so long, ever since I was a child. Hey, let me dream, okay? Alright party poopers, it's time, it's time once again to show you how I take my breaks and what does Kai Notebook do in his free time. So I mainly do three things, three things, can you please focus. I mainly do three things whenever I am taking a break. Either I play a game, a video game, mainly on my laptop, or I read, I read a book, or I watch, I watch a video. So those are the three things that I do. Let's start with gaming. Alright, we're back to the laptop the third time, but I mainly like play games here. Uh, so I used to just play one game and that's called Valorant. You know, it's a very cancerous game. Now I play more like sort of solo games because I, I, I kind of been getting into like sort of like open world games. And so let me just show you the games that I'm playing. So if there's one thing in my life that I'm addicted to, it's freaking Metal Gear Solid. Look at that. 142 hours. It's like 100, it's almost 143 hours. I spent so much time on this game and yet I can easily download this again and easily put 100 hours more. Like this game is so fun. Like I finished it twice and I'm still, it's still so fun. All right, for the next section of uh, my recreation, you know, what I do in my free time, ugh, <clears throat> voice crack. 
for now we don't have books. But I did buy this and it's called the uh, Karen Slaughter Undone. It's a novel. It's like a mystery novel. It's so interesting. Like it's about like this sort of murder mystery and I'm not like halfway yet, but this is like super interesting. I'm not recommending this because I haven't finished it yet. I would read usually on my free time. Not, not as much as I game, but yeah, I this is the book I'm currently reading. Just a little update, you know. You know, you know. It's nice to have a bit of vlogginess to my videos, right? Like you guys are sick of my voiceovers, right? <laughs> the final section of my of how I take my breaks is is me watching videos, and I mainly watch videos on two devices. So the main device that I use for watching is this. This is my Samsung S20 FE. And at first, I bought this thinking that I'll play games, but I I don't use, I don't play games on my phone or my tablet anymore. Like I hardly play any mobile games or tablet games. I just mainly play on my computer. The other device that I use for consuming media, so I mainly watch YouTube. Currently, I'm like in a binge watch. I'm like I'm like binging Markiplier right now, which is which is pretty cool. I might watch Jacksepticeye as well, but I mainly watch like the big three, like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, mainly all of those people. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that wraps up the video. Um, I hope you guys like this format. This is for me more easier to film and for me i think more easier for me to talk to you guys you know, i can make jokes without like relying on the script too much and you know my videos don't look like a corporate mess but uh yeah um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you will uh in uh, uh yeah bye bye <laughs>